Hello, my name is John Begg, and with me is my grandson, Jacob Irvin. Jacob. Hi, my name is Jacob Irvin, and today we'll be working on a 1930 Model A panel delivery. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, Jacob. Have you ever worked on a Model A before? Yes, I have. We went on a trip a few days ago, and the windows were rattling, so we fixed those. So what did you do to fix them? We replaced the window brackets. And after we did that, you did a great job, and we decided we'd do something a little more involved, right? Yes. Okay, so, so when we were traveling, I also noticed in panel delivery that uh, it sounded a little loud, and maybe there was kind of a taste of exhaust fumes in the car. So we decided that we would take on uh, replacing the exhaust and intake manifold. So we did some homework. So let's get to the work, Jacob. What do you say? And uh, tell us what we did from there, Jacob. So I spent the night at my grandparents' house, had some dinner, and then I, we watched the Paul Shin video to, un, to get a quick understanding on how to do the work. So now, Jacob, let's get to the work. Let's tell them what you did. So now we are going to put a jack underneath the muffler so it won't hit the ground. Let me introduce John Cockrell. You'll see John in some of these videos. John is the president of the Palmetto A's, and John is here as another coach to help us and help Jacob with this work. So Jacob, let's keep going. So the first thing I did was take the muffler clamp off. So here I was learning that the muffler clamp is smaller on the bottom than it is on the top. So now I know that I have to take off the intake and exhaust manifold as a whole and there are four nuts I have to take off. So here I was looking if the manifold was level or not, and it wasn't, so it looked like it might have been leaking. Off come the old copper gaskets. Now I'm cleaning the muffler flange and the engine so we have a nice even surface. Last night we painted the intake and exhaust manifold. Now we're assembling. Before we put the manifold on there, we need to put new copper gaskets. Now it's time to install the manifold unit. Now we're putting on a special type of washers. They're called conical wash. The old way it was put on, well, originally, when we took it off, it had lock washers on there. Maybe that's why it was leaking. It's important to put the washers on the correct way for the right spring tension. Now it's time to put on the nuts and torque them down.
Okay, Jacob, if you remember, we had to do a quick instruction course on how to use a torque wrench. It's pretty simple really. You just dial in and listen for the clicks. We're going to put the muffler clamp on, but first we have to put muffler sealer on. This way it won't leak. Remember what I said earlier about the muffler clamp? The small end has to go down and the big end has to go up. You can't see me right now because I'm under the car lining up the muffler to the exhaust manifold. Here I'm using a trick and looking through a mirror to make sure everything is seated well. What's next, Jacob? Carburetor.
we are attaching the choke rod with the rod, the leather washer, steel washer, spring, and sleeve. And then we attach to the carburetor. Now I'm attaching the gas line to the carburetor. Now we're just checking everything out, and then I'm going over to the other side to turn the power. Here's a lesson for all you listeners. Never put your head under the hood while your grandfather is at the wheel. He might just honk the horn. Now I'm going to start the car, and here's what you have to do. You have to have the car in neutral, turn the gas on, the key on, spark lever up, the throttle lever a little down, Pull the choke rod and hit the starter button. When the engine starts, pull the spark lever down and the throttle level up. Job well done, Jacob. Here's what I hope people got out of this. Learn to work on your Model A with your children or grandchildren. You can do it. You can video your work, you'll love the experience, and you'll have a better running Model A. Jacob, anything to add? Hey, Poppy, two questions. When's the next project, and um, how about a trip to Sonic?